guys this is Arlene as a designer for my favorite things I wanted to share with you my latest holiday project and these are called well I don't know if what they're called but these are little M&M favors and super cute uh, these are the holiday M&Ms and let me show you my inspiration really quick so I was at my son's last day of school before the holiday party and they had a cultural potluck and so I went to his class to bring some food and help out uh, and I had met my son's classmate's mom who was there. Hey Jen! And she made these really cute favors for the children and I was just in love with it and it was so cute. Look at how she made the little hat. And she gave me some some tips on how to make this and she used a scallop square punch and she just cut along the edge and she used that as the trim of the hat. She put some glitter she cut out little triangles for the hat and then she put this little white pom-pom so cute so this is my inspiration thanks again Jen for sharing this with me it was super fun now these clear bags um, are one by eight uh, are the dimensions and I picked mine up at clearbags.com um, who happens to be local uh, to me so I was able to order it uh, and pick it up so basically uh, that was my inspiration but I changed it up a little bit by using some of my favorite things products and here's what I created super cute and added a little ribbon there so I used the the textile rectangle stamp set and dynamics and it's basically a set it comes with the die as well as the clear stamp set and it's just really cute I used that and I cut out um, two design papers at a time. This thing is amazing. You, um, you can actually uh, run it through your Big Shot with two sheets at a time and it'll still cut really well. So I use that and then for the sentiment here on the bottom that says wishing you the sweetest holiday I use the Santa Baby stamp set and this is it right here. Super cute. And then for the little uh, candies, a little candy, candy cane, gingerbread man, little sack of goodies. I use the You Spin Me Around Editions stamp set. And that's what this looks like. Super fun. And I just use color box ink to stamp that up. And then I use some distress ink to edge the ends. And then this is red basil cardstock. And you'll see in the tutorial that I'm going to take you into right now how I created the hat and everything else. So super fun. So if you're looking to make a little favor for your children or for work, this is a super fun um, idea and I love it. So thanks for watching everyone and happy holidays. I pre-cut two pieces of this shape from the Textile Rectangle Dynamics Stamp and Die Set. I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to stamp a sentiment with VersaFine ink onto the die shape, and this sentiment is from the Santa Baby stamp set by My Favorite Things. Now I'm going to take some color box warm red ink and I'm going to stamp a few of the candy shapes from the You Spin Me Round Editions stamp set. So I have a candy cane and then I'm going to stamp a little candy just diagonal from that. and just kind of spacing them out. And then I'm going to take some color box chalk ink in olive pastel and I'm going to stamp the little sack of candy. And I'm just sort of rotating the colors here just to mix it up. Now I'm taking some dark brown color box chalk ink and I'm going to stamp the gingerbread man. The stamp set is really cute. Um, and if you get the original stamp set, it comes with the Dynamics spinner die, which is really cool. Now I'm going to take my Ranger Distress Ink in Fired Brick, and I'm going to get my Distress Tool and ink up the edges to kind of finish it off. Now I'm taking some red basil card stock, which is pre-embossed with dots on it, and I'm going to cut out a triangle for the Santa hat. Now I'm doing this all by hand. There really isn't a need for a die or anything to make this, this triangle. 
I'm going to take a piece of white paper and I'm going to punch out a scallop square. And I'm going to be trimming off one side of the scallop square to act as the ruffle of the Santa hat. Then I'm taking my half inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out a circle for the top of the hat. I'm using my Scotch quick dry adhesive to adhere the scallop edge to the bottom of the hat. And as I'm doing this, I look at the triangle and it's just a little too wide. So I'm just going to trim it down a little bit here. And adding a little bit more adhesive. There we go. That fits much better. And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on the top and apply the dot for the top of the hat. Now I'm taking my two-way glue pen and I'm going to apply adhesive onto the white punched out pieces of the hat. And I'm going to apply some Martha Stewart fine glitter on those pieces of the hat to flare it up and give a little bit of shimmer to the Santa hat. I'm taking some sticky tape and I'm going to use that to adhere the hat down onto the die cut we stamped. And I like to use sticky strip for the most part uh, when working on projects because you don't want your project falling apart. And the sticky tape just really sticks. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press that down. I'm taking some circle sticky dots and I'm cutting them in half because I don't need the full dot. And then I'll be applying one on either side of the die cut shape. And we're going to be using those to adhere the two die cuts together. And the sticky dots will hold it really well. Now I'm taking the backing off of the sticky dots and I'm going to start with one side first. And I'm going to push that down, adhere it. And then I'll peel off the strip of the second side. And before I close that shut, I'm going to go ahead and stick in the tube of candy of the M&Ms. Kind of squeeze it in there and then line up the die cuts and then give it a little squeeze to finish it off. Really simple. Super cute too. Now to finish it off, I'm taking a 9 inch piece of ribbon and I'm just going to tie a bow at the base of the die cut. And then I'm going to trim the tails off the ends of the ribbon and we're done. Thanks for joining me with this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Happy holidays.